en el centro de la pampa vive un pimiento sol y viento para su vida sol y viento sol y viento para su vida sol y viento Bonjour, je m'appelle Patrick Barnard. Bienvenue à la 132e édition du Piment. Hello, I'm Patrick Barnard. Welcome to the 132nd edition of the Pimento Report. It is August 19th, 2018. We're here in an area of the Ville Saint-Laurent. It's a borough of Montreal. The area is called the Techno Park area. It's a wonderful area of marshlands that are under threat. And this morning, Elizabeth May, the leader of Canada's Green Party, is going to be giving a press conference in just an hour or so. Alors, uh, ce matin, Elizabeth May, la tête du Parti Vert du Canada, va donner une conférence de presse ici, uh, dans le Technoparc, uh, dans l'arrondissement de Ville-Saint-Laurent, tout près des marais très, très valables écologiquement. Et elle va, encore une fois, défendre le the principle de la biodiversité. Joël Coutouf, you've been leading people through these wonderful marshes, showing them the birds, telling people this is the number one birding site in Montreal. What is the importance of the press conference today given by Elizabeth May? Um, well, it brings attention to our cause. Uh, we've sort of this and what Technopark Wazoo have been doing is trying to get attention and we're sort of speaking for the birds here uh, and uh, this brings awareness to the site, uh, the area, uh, it shows how valuable this area is and, and the more and more people see this area they realize how special this area is. So that's our goal and so Elizabeth May is going to bring that attention to us uh, for our group. So and, and presumably this is the third time she's done this, she's going to be talking to the Minister of environment, the federal one, Catherine McKenna, but also her fellow parliamentarians, I would think. So I, it's part of getting this area known. Yes, that, that's the point. And uh, at least we have a voice in Ottawa and someone who can get close to McKenna because uh, we've written, many of us uh, have written to McKenna and uh, the letters, the replies often are, look the same. And so now maybe after uh, uh, Miss May sees this area, she can you know, first-hand uh, tell Miss McKenna how beautiful this area is and should be preserved. So that's uh, sort of a little alert call from a, a thrush, probably, that we're hearing in okay. the place. Lisa Mintz, Elizabeth May is about to give a press conference here in the Technopark area of the uh, borough of Ville Saint Laurent. And I said uh, that she once again is defending biodiversity here. I think this is her third time. Uh, what is the importance of this press conference? Uh, we are going to announce how she's going to help us, which I'm going to tell you now, is we have the, we have the, uh, an endangered species called the least bittern, which has now, we, we have proof, been nesting here for three years. That means that this area should be, this area here, should be declared critical habitat for the endangered species. So far, Catherine McKenna has not been helpful in this, and Elizabeth May is going to help us get to Catherine McKenna personally so that we make sure that our our demand is she she sees it because a lot of times you make a demand to a big uh, minister like that and it never even gets to her so this is this is what we're going to now Technopark Wazo wrote a letter to uh, Catherine McKenna the Minister of the Environment the federal one uh, there was a response as I remember which was full of generalities are you expecting something much more specific now she's going to have to take a side now I mean, basically what it said was, we're going to keep our eyes on this, but right now we're not going to do anything. But that was two years ago. Now we're in our third year. So this area and 500 meters surrounding it needs to be, by, by our own laws, considered critical habitat for this bird. And I brought a oh, 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 woodcock. Oh, that was a woodcock. Oh, my God. They're this very shiny. Yeah, uh, I saw them. But they big ass. The yeah, normally they see us before we see them and they fly off. <laughs> and that's their wings making that noise. We did an inventory. I was curious, at the end of April, I did an inventory of the woodcocks. Yeah. And they're very active in April. So I got a, a whole bunch of uh, 
of experienced birders and I scattered everybody in the whole Techno Park area. We came out with 56. Techno Park! Yay! Yay! And we have a special guest with us, Elizabeth May, who has come all the way here to help us. believe that we really have a good a good way to stop this destruction that's going on in the federal lands now. So I'm going to let Elizabeth talk. Merci. Merci Lisa Mintz uh, dans la coalition VA de Montréal. So Lisa Mintz didn't introduce herself while introducing me. And I want to thank all the volunteers who've been working so hard. You'll hear in a moment from Joel Couteau, who is definitely the hero of pointing out what is here that no one knows. simple message to my friend Catherine McKenna, the Minister of Environment. This is federal land. You've got endangered wildlife on federal land. We have rare birds here in Techno Park. The Elise Veteran is here and it's time to declare these lands as critical habitat under the Species at Risk Act to prevent Woo! further J'aimerais euh, dire un gros merci Daniel, Elizabeth May, Petit Vert d'être venu ici, euh, Lisa, euh, tous les autres groupes, euh, euh, Technopac Oiseaux, les membres, les Techno Avengers, euh, merci beaucoup. Euh, <rire> euh, on fait ça, euh, c'est vraiment pour les oiseaux euh, que moi je le fais, je suis un passionné des oiseaux et euh, je trouvais qu'il y a deux ans, Il méritait que quelqu'un ou des gens parlent pour eux. Il euh, y a quelques oiseaux qui parlent, les paraquets, mais la majorité ne parle pas, ils chantent. Et donc, je trouvais que c'était important, et euh, c'est ça qui m'a inspiré, mais ça a inspiré beaucoup d'autres gens. C'est beau à voir depuis deux ans là, comment il y a du momentum, puis les gens, tous les gens, là, que ça fait deux ans qu'on visite le site, quand les gens visitent le site, ils sont toujours séduits. mon ami Catherine McKenna. Maintenant, c'est là, euh, il nous semble à l'heure de faire la protection de ce euh, territoire écologique et on doit déclarer cet habitat, cet habitat, cri euh, habitat critique pour les oiseaux rares comme le petit blangiot et puis les autres aussi. Euh, c'est vraiment euh, incroyable qu'il reste ici en forêt, marécage, habitat critique est vraiment rare près de Montréal. Et je veux dire à Mme McKenna, et j'ai dit déjà dans la, la Chambre de communes, c'est comme le grand na parc national Rouge Park dans la région de Toronto. Pourquoi pas mettre sur pied les protections pour un vrai parc ici, à Montréal, pour la protection des oiseaux rares et les autres espèces? on trend extinction. Wow. So we have a real opportunity here, and it's time for the federal government to step up yeah. and protect yeah. on federal land. En el centro de la pampa vive un pimiento Sol y viento pa' su vida Sol y viento